everyone, this is Jyoti Shoran. I'm second year PhD student at Penn State USA right now. And in today's video, I'll be discussing about the Max Planck Society, which is uh, which is named after the German physicist. And it is a it's, uh, Max Planck Society has 80 institutes and they have they provide PhD programs in all the areas ranging from science, technology humanities, uh, climate, environment and climate. And we will be discussing about how to apply in these institute. It is the world best institute if you want to do the research in any of these area. It has 39 Nobel Prize winner working at the faculty there. And you will be, if they work in collaboration with all the top institute, including Stanford, UCLA, everywhere. So let us begin and discuss about how to apply there. I also applied there. I got the Zoom uh, interview call scheduled with them so I can share my experience also in this video. I have also divided the institute based on the research area out of all the 80 institute and they have on top of that, except these 80 institute, they also have a lot of IMPRS, which is the International Max Planck Research Schools, which is based on specific area. For example, I applied in optics. So there is IMPRS School of Light and Photonic. So I applied there. Similarly, they have these list of lot of IMPRS, around 68 IMPRS school on top of those 80 Max Planck Institute. And you should definitely apply there. If you apply or do your PhD from I Max Planck Society, you will be recognized as world-renowned uh, uh, world renowned uh, leaders in that. So you can start. I'll be sure. So this, there is no particular institute. If somebody tells you what is Max Planck, so it is a society which was named after the Max Planck, who is the famous physicist. It is based not only in Germany, it is in Europe, and there are two institutes in USA also. So you have to, it's not only in Germany. It is across in Netherlands, it's in Germany and other areas of Europe. So in this video, we will discuss about how to get admission or the PhD position in prestigious Max Planck Society. So let us begin. So I told you as earlier, the Max Planck Society has over 80 institutions. And if you want to do PhD in any of these areas, which means physics, astronomy, astrophysics, biology, medicine, if you're in chemistry, material science and technology, environment and climate, and also humanities. Remember this, most of the humanities students don't even know where to apply. They don't know what all colleges uh, give the PhD position. And all these PhD positions are fully funded. You don't have to ever worry about the funding. And they uh, usually the time period of completing your PhD from Max Planck is around 3.5 to 4 years. So you don't have to worry about your time frame also. And uh, as I told you, they have 39 Nobel Prize winner working as a faculty there, which is the highest number of Nobel Prize winner from any um, institute. So this is not an institute, although it is a society. But still, if you want to work a, work in research area, want to be a world-renowned expert in any area, you should definitely apply there. And I'll tell you my experience at the end of the video, how I applied, what reply I got, and what all process that I had to do for applying to this uh, institute. So I have divided list of Max Planck Institute based on specific area. So out of all the 80 institute, I have divided it. So for astronomy and astrophysics, you can see these are the institute which work in that area, not only in astronomy, astrophysics, for example, if you want to work in nuclear physics, if you want to work in uh, radio astronomy, other physics area, then also you should definitely check these uh, website or these uh, institutes, okay? And the other will be here, a uh, list of Max Planck. In, this is based on biology and medicine. So biology and medicine doesn't only mean that if you are from example, if you want to work, you're from chemistry, uh, you're, you want to work in biophysics, you want to work in anthropology, you want to work in other areas, then also you can uh, look and apply to these places. Okay, so you can see there are 26 institutes which are specific, specifically specializing in these particular research area. 
you should definitely apply if you're interested in biology and medicine. And these are the institute which work specifically on material science and technology. Or like if you're from chemistry, you're from biology background, material science is an interdisciplinary branch. If you're from physics, for example, if you're from chemistry, you want to work in polymer research, you should definitely apply there. If you're from, um, want to work in suppose complex system, then you should apply there and other institute, you should definitely apply there. They also have an institute for intelligent system, which is specifically for computer science. Again, they provide their master's program as well as PhD program. Their master's is also sometimes fully funded. So you should definitely apply there. If you have any degree from this institute, your profile will be great and you can land a job in anywhere, whether it's in academia or whether it's in industry. So you don't have to worry about it. So the other is environment and climate. Some people are very much interested in working into these areas because it is so important for the world right now. So you should definitely apply to these institutes. They have excellent research area. The research is always in the news and you will get excellent uh, benefit if you're applying here. So these are the institutes, specialized institutes who are working in this particular area. And then in humanities. This is again, very important. Most of the people ask me all the time, like there are a lot of options for STEM, but if you're from humanities, you can definitely apply to the, these institutes. They have excellent program in humanities, especially if you want to work in law, history, anthropology, and other in other areas, you should definitely check these institutes. There will be professors who are working in your particular research area. And also they post the uh, PhD position all across the year. So you can de definitely apply whenever uh, you want to apply. So that is an autonomy and all these institutes are autonomous. So what do you mean by autonomous is they will have all this say. They will decide whom they want to get in. Uh, and everything will be decided by them. So you can definitely apply there and see if you have a chance of getting there or not. And now we will discuss about how to apply there. Like now you know all these institutes are working in your research area. So if you have the, the research area in these particular fields, now what you have to do is second process is how to apply. So we will be discussing that. Now, if you think you have excellent masters from India and or anywhere, and now you want to apply for these Max Planck Institute, so what you have to do is you will go to this website, www.mpg.de. And under this, if you will click on the research area, then if you will click on the institute, you will find the list of institute. And as I told you, there are 80 institute in the Max Planck Society and you can apply to any of these institute if you have particular interest. The list I have already provided in uh, the PDF but you can also look if I missed out on anything. For example, if you want to work in chemistry, you should definitely go there and also they work in chemistry, earth science, climate research and uh, any area you want to work. So this is the specific institute which is for art. The people who are from humanities, they want to study on social and behavioral science. You should definitely apply here. Similarly, if you will find out uh, demographic research, if you're from geography background, if you're from humanities background, you should definitely apply to this institute. So you can keep on looking for the institute uh, here on this website. And you will find out list of all the 80 institute which are there. And if you want to uh, scroll instead of, you know, institute, if you want to find out the expert who are working in that particular area, you can find out that also. For example, he is the uh, professor, Ralph Adam, he's working in department uh, tissue uh, related area or he's the Bruce Allen is working in department of observational relativity and cosmology so if you're interested in astrophysics you should apply there uh, similarly you can look according to the expert then you can look according to the research projects also because I told you they have the opening of research projects throughout the year so if you're interested in suppose working in astrophysics you want to learn about the rocky planet uh, called Harbor Water 
uh, and this, and you're interested in working here. So the James Webb Space Telescope, they will be using this uh, for their studies and you can work, like find out according to your particular research in project also. So what you will do is you will go to this website, click on the research, you can find according to your region also, like suppose you want to apply to this particular uh, part of the country, then you can do that also based on the institute you can find out, based on experts you can find out, based on research projects, uh, research projects which are or the research reports or the latest research which they are working on, you can find out. See, as I told you, they have list of 39 Nobel Prize winner and you can see all of these professor or the, all the latest research, whatever is happening in the world, you will definitely find some excellent professor working here. And on top of that, instead of Nobel Prize, they have Japan Prize Fields Medal, which is considered best in mathematics. Uh, Lasker awards these prizes also available there. Okay, and uh, all the professors are working uh, in this particular area. So instead of these 80 institute, which you can find from here, there is something called IMPRS. And there are right now currently 68 IMPRS, as you can see, right? So these are the IMPRS, which means International Max Planck Research School. You don't have to learn German for applying here. There are around 68 Max Planck IMPRS, 80 Max Planck Institute, and around 68 IMPRS. They are spread across the Germany, and some of them are outside the Germany also. You can look for this video also if you want to know more about how to apply there. And in this video, the next step will be I will be discussing how I applied. So I applied to IMPRS, uh, Max Planck Institute for the Science of Light. So I applied to this particular school. And what I did was, uh, this is the, like how, you, what are the, the uh, see, they accept application for PhD position throughout the year. So I applied whenever I got to know about it, right? So the first step is you will have to find the principal investigator. Principal investigator is nothing but the supervisor under which you want to work in your particular research area. So first step will be you will go to the website. You will find the IMPRS school uh, if you are interested in applying to that particular research school. And the second step will be you will find the research professor who is working in your field. And if you find that person, particular research professor who is working in your field, the step one will be contacting that professor. You will send an email to that particular professor. And step two will be, uh, you will be sending this entire email to the head uh, of that particular IM, IMPRS along with the document. So what are the documents that are required for this? You can see, see, um, they accept PhD position throughout the year. In one PDF file, you have to tell about your preferred research area. The professor who is working in that particular research area should be in that particular IMPRS school or some other IMPR, IMPRS or other Max Planck Society. Then you have to prepare a motivation letter for this CV. And then you have to indicate, uh, like, how do you got to know about IMPRS, all your university certificate, your transcript, your degree, everything, all the research experience you have right now, abstract of your bachelor thesis, your master's thesis, your 10th, 12th certificate, everything you have to email to them. And if they like your profile, then they will be... Uh, sending you an email for scheduling an interview with you. So I got till the interview uh, part and I can show you that. So as I told you, they're uh, accepting the uh, application throughout the year. So what I did was I wrote to this IMPRS and I attached this person who was responsible for my particular school. I wrote a SOP type of email to them and I attach all of my document. So you have to attach your recommendation letter also in this. So remember that. So I attached all three of my recommendation letter. I attached my resume, uh, the SOP, which I want to make for IMPRS, like my ILED score, my degree, of post-graduation, my degree of uh, bachelor's, my certificate, my project report, my research experience, my presentation. Also, they asked me to prepare a three-slide presentation, which has to be brief, but you have to tell about your, you know, in that three uh, 
three slide presentation you have to tell about your research and after a few days they evaluated my profile and they called me uh for the interview so mm, they, they called me for the uh, interview and uh, I gave the interview at whatever time I was available and then I had an interview with them and uh, that's how uh, I applied for the IMPRS. So if you are interested in applying for IMPRS or Max Planck Society, it is excellent uh, place for doing any kind of research. And if you have any doubt, I will be more than happy to help. Please comment below for any kind of information. If I can answer your question, I will be more than happy. And for more such informa information video, keep watching your PDA. And it is an excellent opportunity and you should definitely apply there. Thank you.